All right, apparently, Fredro Starr made some remarks calling Royce the 5'9", a backpack nerd rapper. Let's talk about it. That subscribe button, bell icon button. Excuse me, share the video. And um, basically, Royce didn't like it. He said, uh, Frederick Starr said, like, hey, man, we did the... Um, we did a tour together on a Nelly tour. He my man's, but I'll put him in a nerd backpack rapper um, conversation. You know, Lupe, guys like that, Kanye West. And Royce didn't like it. You know, he called, he and Lyle said he had a Fredro Stars legend and all that. But he basically said, stop playing with my name. You know, all tree you in my Birdman voice. And basically he said, don't speak on him no more. You know, give him a, give him a compliment and keep him moving. And Royce to 5'9". I don't even know one Royce to 5'9 song, to be honest. <laughs> I'm from Detroit, but he don't sound like the Detroit rappers, him and Eminem. Like, he don't sound like him, man. I know he had layers that came. I'm just, I just ain't really never gravitated towards his music. Not to say he ain't a dope MC. I just ain't never gravitated towards him. I know he wrote for a lot of people, too. But, um, yeah, I just ain't never listened to him. You know, Fred Joe Star, Onyx is dope. You know, Sticky Fingers, you know, they, they're dope art. Right, but, like I said before, Roy's been in a lot of beef lately, my son, and for the culture and all this. He talking all this black shit, not in this situation. But then again, you know, he won't address being on stage and letting them and them say the N-word. You know, he want to talk about being black and my son, you know, being loyal to Vlad, which Vlad, my son, wasn't 100% true. But he protecting them and them, who is degrading black women, who uh, a lot of people think he's a white supremacist. So, like I said before, man. Royce, you can't speak until y'all speak on some of that shit Eminem that said. Straight up and down. And that's just my opinion on it, man. And, um, you know, I mean, yeah, you don't want nobody playing with your name and your legacy, but that's his, that's his, uh, that's his opinion. You know, I don't think, you know, Royce is a nerd backpack rapper. And nerd, Lloyd, Royce was saying that, oh, you can be a street nigga and you can be a lyricist. Fuck yeah. Uh, y'all didn't see Biggie? Pun. Like, they were Big L, very lyrical. You know what I'm saying? But still, they make great music. You know, Jay-Z, very lyrical. Made great music. So, like I said before, man, Royce the 5'9", just standing in some shit that, you know, he shouldn't even be in right now. And I know uh, Tom Bennett, check his uh, channel on Sports Entertainment. He did an uh, interview with spider Loke and he called him Royce the 5'9". I, mean, I, was, I was cracking up, but hey, I ain't never been no huge Royce fan, man. Um, Onyx and Fredro Starr, he was a uh, Q in Moesha. He played the Sunset Park. That was my movie, Sunset Park with Tom... So, you know, Fred Joe Starr, you know, he's a he's a rap legend, you know, good rapper. But if I had to say, you know, probably Royce the 5'9 is more lyrical. But, you know, if, you know we, we as black people be beefing over some stupid shit. You know, Royce feel like he got a lot of time on his hand, probably not doing no shows. He feel like he got to respond to everybody. But, like I said before, man, I just ain't really looked at him like that. And I really don't listen to him like that. Like, you can call Lupe a nerd backpack rapper, but he was dope. He like the dopest nerd rap uh backpack rapper that since he came out you know but if he's talking about him kind of being a nerd and talking on positive right you got a lot of guys talk positive and then flip the switch and go gangster tupac bring the cats a baby but no nobody hit care you know then he went from you know i get a wife you know I, you know he went you know you can do both you know jay-z now starting to kick knowledge and now you know then he did some some other shit in, you know in the past but Nas, you know, he can do both. Uchi Wally, he can do that. You know, it ain't hard to tell. So, at the end of the day, trying to classify one rapper in one class, you really can't do that with a lot of rappers. J for the streets, J for the commercial, J for the, the intellectual towards the end of his career. You know, he with the gangster shit. You know, so, you know, some guys fit into one box. But a lot of guys can, can be versatile and fit into multiple box boxes. But I ain't about to defend neither one of these dudes, man. This dumb nigga shit. We got all this going around. And we worry about people calling us backpacker nerd rappers. Come on. <laughs> Royce the Five Nine, you say Royce the Five Nine, you know, you know, he ain't lyrical to Eminem. He got well, you know, I wrote the, you know, he gotta always defend himself. And I don't I usually I ain't really hear from Royce like that. Royce make music get the hell out the way. Now during the pandemic, he feel like he gotta defend himself every time on the dime. But I ain't mad at you. You know, when you build something from twenty plus years ago and somebody trying to play with your name, I mean I would too, bro. But you know, C Lister, Fredro Star, I don't I don't think he's worth dipping down to, you know. But hey, that's just my opinion on it, man. I think Royce is a better rapper than him, but Slam Dun Dun Fredro Star was just trying to be too hard, bro. They were saying he was trying to be the next Tupac. He was just trying to be too hard. 
It, you know, you take him, him and Sticky Fingers. Take him and, and take DMX and multiply them times 20. That's them. Like, they made some hard shit, though. But that was dope, though. But let me know what you guys think. Check out the music entertainment playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, smart shit, video request. All my social media links in the description. Twitter's the fastest way. Then Facebook and Instagram. We got a Facebook group. Want to make a donation? Cash app CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Appreciate the love and support. We gone.